Christia Freeland acknowledges the nuanced nature of government intervention in fostering economic growth. Mr. Speaker, there are those who claim that the only good thing government can do when it comes to economic growth is to get out of the way. Well, Mr. Speaker, I would like to introduce those people, those people who just cheered, to the talented trades people and the brilliant engineers who last Thursday made the final weld. It's known as the Golden Weld on a great national project, the Trans Mountain Pipeline. That's right. That's right. An activist, determined liberal government to get it built. Reducing governmental interference often fosters heightened efficiency, fosters innovation, and enhances productivity within the private sector. The successful completion of the Trans Mountain Pipeline project stands as a testament to the positive outcomes achievable through strategic governmental involvement in infrastructure endeavors. However, it's imperative to strike a delicate equilibrium between public and private sector endeavors, steering clear of excessive governmental oversight. Critiques directed at Christia Freeland's portrayal of the Trans Mountain Pipeline Initiative as solely attributable to governmental actions oversimplify the intricate interplay between diverse interests inherent in infrastructure development, both public and private. 